Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Welcome to lecture 99. So, uh, the last remaining topic uh, which I thought of covering earlier, uh, but I have not been able to do so. So, I will cover it today. Uh, this is the sphere of influence. Now, already you have looked into the interplanetary transfer that the sphere of influence definition we should know and uh, the equation the expression for that uh, finding out the radius of a sphere of influence we have already worked out. Now, not worked out, but I have written it. So, today I am going to work it out, so that you understand how the sphere of influence it works. So, for this we need to resort to the multibody problem. So, say we have a inertial reference frame here. this is sun here, earth is here. I will take the example with respect to the sun earth system and here this is vehicle. Where P stands for planet. So, the here we have this is R P V and R S V S P. P stands for planet, where in this case this is earth, S stands for sun and uh, V stands for vehicle. So, if you remember in the three body multi body problem, we have written the expression for the motion of one particle with respect to the other one in the presence of many other particles. So, that expression we can utilize here. So, I am not going to again rewrite it, rather I will utilize it. So, R S V according to that, you will have to refer back to the week 6 week 5 or 6 perhaps, it was uh, the three body problem. So, there I have written this expression. So, utilize that expression. So, R s v double dot plus g times and this mass we will assume to be m v and this mass we write as m earth or m planet we can write. This is m p and here we write as m sun. M planet writing, writing it is a better because it can be earth, it can be Mars or any other thing, but M V is ok, M V, M v is the mass of the vehicle. So, M sun I will make it in a capital letter, M sun and rest others I will keep it a small. So, motion of the vehicle with respect to the sun. Because this is very simple, you know that this is the basic equation of the two body problem. On the left hand side what I have written R s v whole cube. The other term on the right hand side we will have only the perturbation term. So, this is the basic two body problem and this is the perturbation term which is appearing here. So, let us say this is equation 1. Similarly, for the motion of the 
vehicle with respect to the planet it can be written as r p v double dot this is the motion of the vehicle with respect to sun motion with respect to sun of vehicle and here we are writing motion with respect to planet of vehicle so r p v double dot g times the two body problem we have to write here m p times m prime on the left hand side always it will be like that and r p v whole cube and on the right hand side the perturbation term goes so that will be due to the sun so g m sun minus r s p we look back into the derivation i have done earlier i am not going to explain all these terms here so how why i am putting the minus sign after at the end you should be knowing all these things so th this can be rearranged as m planet plus m prime r p v whole cube minus sign i will take it outside r s planet plus r p v and uh, little bit of effort we can further rewrite this rsp plus rpv rsp plus rpv is nothing but rsb so this is rsb divided by rsb whole cube minus r s p by r s p whole cube so this we write as equation 2 and this is our equation 1 this can also be rewritten equation 1 can be rewritten as rsv double dot plus g times m sun plus m prime okay. plus rsv divided by rsv whole cube equal to g times m planet and rest of the things we have to rearrange so if you look there the vector in the numerator was on the first term on the right hand side rsp minus rsp so rsp minus rsv so this is the quantity minus rpv so here this comes as r p v with minus sign and divided by r p v whole cube okay and then rest of the things we have to re copy from the previous one so this becomes plus 
आर पी बी होल क्यूब This we write as equation three. So we have equation two and equation three. These are equation two and three. Equations two and three are our primary equation. Primary equations, which we need to use and solve the problem. Now. This is because this is a satellite, okay. So therefore, a small m prime. This will be much, 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 much smaller than the mass of the sun, okay. and therefore this term can be neglected here. So the equation three can be rewritten as R S V double dot plus. G times m sun R S V by R S V whole cube minus G times m planet. We are not though the planet mass is also much less than the sun mass, but we are not neglecting it because if we neglect the right hand side will be zero. Okay, that means the perturbation term is gone and it's it's a getting reduced to two body problem. But perturbation it depends on the distance from the sun where the vehicle is located. On that the perturbation will depend due to the planet. So the right hand term is this perturbation due to the planet. Perturbation due to planet in equation three. This is our equation four. Similarly, equation two can be rewritten. Equation two can be rewritten here. The mass of the satellite with respect to the planet will be negligible. So, therefore, here also the m prime we can drop. So, so in equation two, m prime is much less than. M planet, so there also we can drop the M prime, and we can write this as G times M planet R P V by R P V whole cube. On the right hand side, perturbation due to sun. R S P whole cube. So these are the two equations we have got in a reduced format, and this equation we can rewrite as R S V double dot plus acceleration due to sun. This equal to perturbation due to planet P P. This is perturbation due to planet. Due to planet, and this is due to sun, because this is the motion we have written about the planet, motion of the vehicle about the planet, okay, and where sun is acting as a perturbating agent. So similarly, this one can be written as R P V double dot plus e acceleration due to the planet, and on the right hand side accelerate. Perturbation due to sun. So this is our sixth equation, and this is seventh equation. So the ratio, uh, I will write it on the next page. So the ratio P P 
divided by A s and P s divided by A p, these two ratio decide about which uh, about uh, the sun or about the planet. We can consider the motion of the um, uh, this uh, vehicle to be a two body problem. And that we will go to the next page and look into that. So, the ratio P P by A s and P s by A P decides about whom the vehicle motion motion can be considered as two body problem. Now, why I did not consider this part in the three body problem you can appreciate once we have done the tra trajectory transfer problem we have looked into. So, you know that this is the earth here and this is the sphere of influence and once the satellite is going out of this. Okay. So, this is your sphere of influence. So, you remember that uh, within this we have considered as the two body problem and this we have considered as the hyperbolic orbit and thereafter from here we are considering this as elliptic orbit elliptic orbit about sun. So, you can appreciate now if the perturbation due to the planet is and here the perturbation due to the sun. So, if the perturbation due to the sun divided by acceleration due to the planet consider this term if this is very small okay, if perturbation due to the sun and perturbation due to the uh, acceleration due to the planet if this is very small means this quantity in the denominator its magnitude becomes very high as compared to perturbation from the sun. So, in that condition you can consider that your planet this vehicle is moving about the earth and you can consider this as a two body problem. Okay. On the other hand if acceleration due to the sun is very high as compared to the perturbation due to the planet means somewhere you are say the vehicle is lying here. Okay. So, if vehicle is lying here, so perturbation due to the sun will be a small as compared to the acceleration due to this planet. On the other hand, if your vehicle is lying here, sun is here. So, acceleration due to the sun is this will be much more larger its magnitude will be much more larger than the perturbation due to the earth because sun is very massive as compared to the earth or Mars or Jupiter whatever. Okay. So, if this quantity is very small then we will consider motion about the. So, if this quantity is less than certain quantity say epsilon. So, I can consider consider this is a fraction number. So, cons I consider this as a motion about sun and if this quantity is less than certain quantity epsilon. So, I consider this as a motion about the planet. So, after doing the interplanetary transfer you are able to appreciate why we are going through this without this you would not have appreciated it. Okay. Okay. So, therefore, what we will derive now that uh, the radius of influence which we have shown by rho okay, in the interplanetary transfer this we have shown by rho. So, about the planet this can be given by m planet divided by m sun to the power 2 by 5 times r s p sun to planet distance r s p is sun to planet distance.
because this is what we are going to work out. So, S is the quantity, this is the acceleration due to the sun R s v it is a magnitude we are interested in. I will number this as a only a planet its magnitude will be a m planet and r planet to vehicle divided by r planet to vehicle distance whole q this is b now perturbation part we write so perturbation due to the sun gm times this part we are using perturbation due to sun this particular part minus g times ms rsv magnitude r s v minus r s v whole cube minus r s p by r s p whole cube minus sign got eliminated because we are taking magnitude. G m s by r s v we take it outside. Okay. So, this gets reduced to R s v ok. And R S V we are aware of R S V is nothing but R uh, S P and plus R P V. Okay. So, if we use this expansion here, so perturbation due to the sun then gets reduced to G M S divided by R S V whole cube R S P. you can take outside the uh, in one step I am doing it uh, skipping one step here you can check R s v divided by R s p whole cube and times R p v magnitude. So, if S v R S v this magnitude is nearly equal to R S p ok. That means, the planet is the vehicle is in the neighborhood of the planet vehicle is in the neighborhood of the planet ok. Then this is valid here sun is here in this place this is vehicle planet is here. So, you can see that these distances are comparable ok. So, this will be nearly equal to the quantity in the bracket will be nearly equal to 0 because this is 1 minus S b by S p and S b by S p we are writing equal to. So, your p sun in that case perturbation due to sun this gets reduced to g m s by r s b whole cube times r p v. So, this is equation C So, this we have got as perturbation due to the sun similarly perturbation due to the planet we can compute 
g m planet and uh, we go back and look into the expression. Here we have written uh, this one, the fourth equation, perturbation due to planet. So, the right hand side we are considering. So, minus g m p. So, it is a magnitude we have to take, take r p v by r p v cube. So, R P V by R P V whole cube plus R S P by R S P whole cube. So, here in this case, if vehicle is away from planet, Or other way, let us say that this R S P divided by R S P whole cube. So this we can write as R S P cap. This is the unit vector by R S P square. So sun to planet distance, it will be always very large. So this quantity can be neglected, and therefore perturbation due to planet, it primarily depends on G M P divided by R P V. Divided by uh, multiplied by this and uh, R P V whole cube, which is nothing but G M P divided by R P V whole cube whole square. And this is equation D. So, P P perturbation due to the planet this turns out to be G times mass of the planet by R K B square. Okay, once we have done this, now we can compute uh, all the related quantities. Okay. So first of all, we calculate P S by A P perturbation due to the sun divided by acceleration due to the planet. So, perturbation due to sun we have calculated already. This is the quantity here Gms by Rsb whole cube G times m sun by Rsb whole cube times Rpv and in the denominator Ap acceleration due to the planet, which is uh, we have written somewhere this is the part here Gmp by Rpv square. G M P by R P V square. Okay, so if we rewrite this, this gets reduced to M S by M planet times R P V by R S V whole cube. Similarly, we can compute P planet by perturbation due to sun. Whole square and perturbation due to sun. Perturbation due to sun we have written G M S by R S V whole cube. We have to be careful in writing. This is perturbation due to sun and acceleration due to planet. Here, this is perturbation due to sun and acceleration due to sun. So, perturbation due to planet and acceleration due to sun. So now we have to look for A S. So A S we have written here in this place. So G M S by R S V whole square. G M S by R S V whole square. And this quantity can be written as GG will cancel out MP by RPV whole square times RSV square divided by MS. So this is MP by MS times RSV square by 
R P V square. Here this is R P V cube. Okay, so these two equations A B C and we write this as D and this as E. So, from D and E now is sphere on the sphere of influence. So, say this is the earth suppose and this is the sphere of influence of the earth and this is sun here. Okay. So, on this sphere of influence the perturbation due to the sun and acceleration of the planet these two ratio they will become equal. Okay. D and E will become equal in magnitude. Okay, so, this gives us the sphere of influence of that particular planet. So, at the boundary of the sphere of influence P planet divided by A sun this will be equal to perturbation due to the sun divided by acceleration due to planet. These two ratio will become equal and already I have discussed what does mean by these two ratio. Okay. On the other hand this is on S O i. So, immediately we can write the values here p p by uh, p p by a s is m p by m s m p by m s times uh, r s v by r p v r s v by r p v square square and then the p sun this part m s by m p and then uh, R P V by R S V whole cube R P V by R S V. So, from here what we get if we try to rewrite it M P by M S square this will be equal to R P V by R S V to the power 5. And this implies R P V by R S V M planet by M S to the power 2 by 5 and R P V will be equal to M P by M S to the power 2 by 5 times R S V. So, this is sun to vehicle distance. Uh, let me see. Okay. This is sun to vehicle distance. So, a sphere of influence if it is in the influence of the planet. So, this quantity can be written nearly equal to R S P, uh, S V can be replaced by S P. Okay, this this we are replacing. Okay. So this gives you then the radius of influence, the sphere of influence radius. If on the other hand, P S by uh, so. Thus, we have calculated the sphere of uh, the equation I have written earlier that the, this is the equation expression for the influence, uh, sphere of influence. So, this is the way we derive it. Now, uh, one more thing I would like to write here. So, 
so if p s by a p this magnitude if this is less than